Hey guys, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are going to do another course review. Today it is going to be the Sleeping Giant. It was uh, designed by Puffed 39 and he says that this course was specifically built for the CC Summer Showdown on the PGCT forums. So, I have heard very good things about this course. Um, let's uh, begin round and play some golf. We are playing off the the longest tees, which is the, the black tees. And pin selection is number one. I'm just trying to find up. I think, I'm sure the YouTube interface has changed completely, guys. I cannot even find my channel anymore. Hello there, and welcome to this first hole, par four. <clears throat> so, as I'm finding my channel, let's do the course flyby. Hole one is a par four, playing 457 yards. And I am seeing that people have joined the live stream, guys. Apologies, I'm just trying to... There we go. Must have been a glitch. There's my channel. Very, very nice looking first hole. Must admit, looks beautiful. Very scenic. I do have the live stream up now, guys. Madamo, hey buddy. Good morning from California, Lee. Well, good morning, Madamo, from the, the north of Scotland here up in the Highlands. It is currently 9.30 a.m. I'm not sure what time it will be in California. Probably early, early morning with you guys. I do feel you're five hours behind us. But thanks for stopping by, Madamo, as always. Great to see a familiar face, or should I say a familiar um, YouTube icon in the live stream. Do start off with a slow perfect. Nice, should be in the fairway. 1 31 a.m. Yeah, ma'am. Wow. So you're either staying up late or you're up early. But I really appreciate you hanging out in the live stream, buddy. Thanks as always. So a decent first uh, okay, tee shot, guys. Hopefully my tempo is going to be a bit better today. I am really having issues with it. So 169 yards. The greens are firm, by the way, guys. I'm sure they were. <clears throat> Fairways are firm, greens are firm, and the green speed is medium. So, I need to take off three yards. Let's play 166. Enter the wind. Just going to check it up twice because I am playing on a down slope, which will probably add distance to the ball. There's a perfect, perfect, really straight. Need it to stay up a bit. Good. This could be decent. And with the firm greens, that really bounces on nicely, and it's probably going to be about eight feet from the cup for a, a nice. birdie there opportunity. Okay, let's eight feet bang on. Eight so the greens are playing 150. Wow, that's quite, quite slow. So, nice. off to a great start. I do manage to, to down the, or drain the birdie putt the birdie. and start one under. But it's a really nice morning here, guys. We are getting a lot more rain than normal, though. So hole two is a par four, playing 445 yards. Really forgiving fairways here, guys, but as you can see, there's well-placed hazards on the fairways like that. Rough. Big patch of hilly rough. Up to a very large, large green. Not seeing real any problems there. But a three mile per hour wind slightly to the left. There's a slow fast, so it is going to go left. But thankfully I've got plenty of fairway to work with. That's going to trickle on at just short of 290 yards. 287 so yards we've hit that, that so that leaves me... Yards to go still. Let's say it's leaving me 171 yards with the elevation. Just going to loft this up 
six iron and again because the six iron doesn't really bite well there's another fast though guys so I am really struggling with my tempo again and that would have been a really good shot If I didn't get the fast tempo, probably going to be about a 25 foot putt, 23, 5 inches up, breaking to the right, should turn round for me, oh, quite a well judged putt, read the break quite well, and the pace, despite it being 150 greens, so, it is a solid part. Just a lot of inconsistency in my swing tempo at the moment, guys. So, hole three is a par three playing 176 yards. That bunker is really, really protecting this uh, <laughs> this green with the, the firmness. If I have to come over that, yeah. The wind is in my favour, though. So, three, six, nine. That is playing 178, 175 with a wind in my favour. I'm really loft in this 6 iron up. Just going to loft it up. I'm going to reset that. So hopefully the wind's going to take me there, guys, if I can get a good swing on this. So another fast, so it is going to go left. And it's going to be bunkered, is it? Oh no, I do get a nice bounce there. So as you're seeing, I am playing a lot of fasts here. Okay, do you have a birdie putt? Oh, 23 feet, one foot up, breaking to the right. Never look like breaking at all. Probably about a four foot putt. Four part. Which I gladly take. So I stay at one under guys. Despite my tempo being okay, absolutely horrendous. Published a new course, people are scoring super low, they are saying it's beautiful, just the greens are too easy. What's it called, Mad Ammo? And I'll definitely check it out. As always, mate, always more than happy to check out subscribers' uh, courses. So this is a par 4, playing 441 yards. Once again, large greens, certainly don't want to be short of that green. I'm not sure I can make it over here with a driver. actually don't feel I can, but I will use a fairway here on the right. The wind should take me round. Not happy how that came back. And we do eventually get a perfect Looks downswing. Like it should be right in the middle of the fairway of the wind, and it's a really good drive. Up on the flat level part of the surface, the fairway. So 169 yards. Playing 170. Hey Dan, welcome to stream buddy. Thanks very much for stopping by. I hope you're well. Good to see the, the channel filling up. I think I streamed yesterday to about 3-4 people. If that's the case guys, I will be stopping the live streams. Because the whole point of the live stream is to interact with my subscribers. So 169 yards into the wind. I do feel this six iron is the club. There is a perfect, perfect. I think it's a first of the day. This one's looking good. And this could be nice. Just runs on a bit with the firmness of the, the green, but very good approach shot. Probably going to leave me about a 20 foot putt for birdie. But great to see Mad Ammo and Dan P in the live stream, guys, as always. 17 feet, 3 inches up, breaking to the right. 
should turn for me. Go on. Oh, and it's a nice pass. And that is a birdie. So that is going to take me to two under for the round. I don't often get the chance to watch in your morning streams. Yeah, I, I do fully understand, mate, that morning's not great. A lot of people at work and things, but unfortunately, I can't live stream in the evening, really, with my coaching. Thanks, Madamo. So, hole five is a par four, playing 354 yards. And that bunker, once again, is really well placed to protect the green. Quite a lot of bunkers, jeez. I'm just looking, certainly don't want to put a fast on this one. This is going to be a real test of my swing here. There is a perfect, perfect space bar straight. And we find the, the fairway there beautifully. And that's just going to be a little pitch shot onto the green. So 57 yards, 6, 9, so let's say it's playing 60 yards. It's really firm greens. Just want to get this close and give myself a birdie opportunity. It's another perfect, perfect, really straight, and this should be all over it. And that will certainly give me a birdie opportunity. All right, nice little two foot putt. Nice little two foot putt, as John says. I designed a course, if you ever fancy having a go, it's called Forest Green GC. I actually think I've came across that before, Dan P. But yeah, please leave your course names in the, the comments, guys, and I will gladly check them out. So that takes me to three under. Let's move on to hole 6, which is a par 4, playing 341 yards. Oh, wow, this is a beautiful looking hole. Look at this, guys. The ripple effect in the water, the reflections. That is an awesome bridge. Oh, wow. This is a re this is one of the nicest looking holes I've come across to date. The specific one. Wow. Absolutely stunning hole. And I'm really enjoying this course so far, guys. It's a short par 3. Eh, uh, par 4. With the tour clubs, I would have no hesitation to taking this on. I don't feel with the player clubs, I can reach. Probably just asking for trouble there. So going to take on the, the safe approach. The wind should take me round. There's another perfect, perfect. Thankfully my tempo is improving as the round goes on. I'm just looking to run past these trees to give me the, the approach shot that I require. Should leave me a, I was going to say a pitching wedge, but it's a gap wedge. So that's playing, let's say 113 yards. That should have enough with the wind, with the firm greens. Oh, there is a fast, so it's going to go left. Yeah, it's going... It's went, uh, and it was long, actually. It's probably going to have about a 30-foot putt here, if I'm right. 42 foot. 42 feet, Jesus. Six inches down. This isn't quite a tough putt to read with these greens. The greens are quite slow. Breaking to the left. I think I've just over hit that guys, it's probably going to trickle about 10 feet past, yeah it has, so this could be the first drop shot off the round. Okay, 11 footer here, this is definitely makeable. This is makeable, oh. Oh, just didn't allow enough for the break, but that once again guys, inconsistencies in the game, because yesterday, that kind of breaks were not breaking, they were staying straight, today they're breaking. 
but welcome to the stream guys, it's good to see the, the stream filling up a bit more. So that is a drop shot and that is going to take me back to 2 under. It's hole 7 which looks like a par 5, let's see if we can get that drop shot back, 557 yards. Once again, very large for given fairways, but well placed hazards that are going to have to make you pick a narrow part of the fairway if you're going to avoid the hazard. So depending on the, the wind, very large straightforward green. I'm not sure if I can hit this in two. I'm going to choose the right hand side option. There is a fast, but I have allowed enough for that, and I should just be avoiding that left-hand side bunker. We just avoid it. You might have a smaller base of people who watch your stream, but I think the people who do are really interested in what you're doing. Very true, Dan. I mean, I think I average about 13, 14 in a live stream normally, but like you say, it's all good people that's in the stream and people who want to be in the stream. So, I certainly can't make this. With the firm greens, I'm just going to loft this free wood fully up. There's a perfect, perfect, great strike. Wind should take me round. This could be really close, you know, guys. Get up that slope. So, it's probably going to be about a 22-23 putt for Eagle. Whoa, uh, yeah, you hit the green and 18, on done myself on injustice there. Putt. So I'll be really disappointed if I do not at least get a birdie here. So an 18 foot putt, 3 inches up, breaking to the right. Ah, I never ever hit it, was never at it. These 150 greens are quite hard to judge. Should be a tapping birdie though, which it is. And I get that drop shot straight back. Steel Bean, how's it going buddy? Welcome back my friend. Steel Bean always makes me smile when he comes into the chat guys. He's always got a smiley face. Always brightens up my day. As do all of you guys coming into the stream and interacting with each other. So hole 8. Is a par 5, another par 5 straight off the bat, playing 539 yards. Once again, guys, really large, forgiven fairways, but there's that hazards which really make it awkward. It's giving you certain parts of the fairway to aim at. Slight dog leg right, up to a smaller green this time. Quite a tough pin placement. But really enjoying this course, guys. It's excellent so far. I do feel with the tour clubs you would be more in range all of these hazards, but since I'm using the player clubs, they seem to be not a too big a threat. There's a perfect, perfect, and that should find the center of the fairway, and hopefully travel about 280 odd yards. So actually went past 292 yards that's went. All right, looks like so also this means that this is now drivable or reachable in two should I say. I'm actually going to hit the one iron here guys. I'm just going to look to bounce this onto the green. I do feel the free wood would be far, far too long. Hopefully I can get a good strike in this. There is a perfect, perfect, and I do feel this will have the legs, because it's firm fairways, it should bounce onto the green, and it has done. So once again, it's a very good shot, it's going to give me another eagle opportunity. I was at Wembley last night to watch England, did get, oh, fantastic mate, well, England certainly done us a huge favour last night, um, beating Slovakia, when they went 1-0 down, I was like, oh no, here we go. But um, results went Scotland's way last night, thanks to England. So, I mean, I'm not... Uh, 
the guy who never supports England. I always want them to do well at Euros and things for, for the sake of Britain. But last night I was certainly an England fan, cheering them on via the updates in the Scottish game. But yeah, England are now looking good to, to claim that qualifying place, mate, and hopefully Scotland can get second and get the playoff. So 19 feet down one inch. Once again, really laggy backswing there. It's a nice weight. Is it going to turn? Once again, the pats just aren't turning. So that should be a, a gimme birdie, really. Four foot. Just a tap and birdie. So that's going to take me to four under. Four under for the round. That's why I mentioned that we did Scotland a big favour. Yeah, you certainly did. I mean, to be honest, and we, have we were out of it, let's say, three games ago. We were out of it. I do feel England were really fortunate to, to get a point at Hamden. I do feel on the day we were probably the better team. Um, Harry Kane basically scored with the last kick of the ball, but it was a good game. Hopefully, it's going to be an entertaining game at England. But for the squad... And the players at England's uh, disposed, mate. They're nowhere near as good as they should be. So, hole nine is a par three, playing 204 yards. But Scotland are starting to, to improve, mate. We've got lots of good young talented players breaking into the, the squad now. So that is basically playing... 219 yards with a wind against. I'm hoping that that slope, the ball's going to come back off the slope and back down towards the cap if I play it right. It's another perfect, perfect. I'm hoping I'm going to find this slope and it's going to come all the way back down. Well, I was actually a lot closer than what I anticipated. Nice Steel being thanks for the Belfry review yesterday. Really, really great course. First play in the Hackers rounds, but we'll give it a try for sure. You're welcome, Steel Bean. Um, it's a very, very good course, mate. Really enjoyed playing it. I had two. I think I had two double bogeys, which really ruined my round. That it could have been a really good positive round. So nine feet five inches down. Looked in all the way. But welcome to stream, everyone. Good to see the stream picking up a bit. It's great streaming to you guys. So that's taking me now to 500, guys. Really playing well here. I do feel this is a course designed for low score, and I will be honest. So, hole 10 is a par 4, 487 yards. I'll tell you what, Dan P, what I wasn't impressed with me, obviously, with me being involved at professional loop football at a grassroots level, um, Deli Ali last night, I don't know who he gave the finger, but it's all over social media, he's giving a middle finger to people, I mean, that's insane for, for young people to be watching that, these people forget they're, they're young players' idols, I mean, when I played, not that I was a lot of people's idols, but certainly wouldn't have been doing things like that, I find it uh, rather embarrassing for him, and for England to be honest. Hopefully I can reach this with a wind in my face. There's a perfect there. Space bar straight, that one, and it should find a fairway. Find it easily. But Northern Ireland had a fantastic result last night. I mean... They're not blessed with talented players, but it just shows you what you can do if you install a team with belief, hard work and ethics, and all playing for the jersey, man. Fantastic. And like I say, hopefully Scotland are eventually turning the corner. The last time we qualified for a, a major event was the World Cup 98. Yeah, Dali Ali's has attitude, but he wasn't very good last night. Rashford really excites me, though. Rashford is a really exciting talent. What's he think? He's American. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it's crazy, man. There's no place for that in uh, football, or should we call it, because uh, cause Mad Ammo's here, or soccer. I actually got offered a, a coaching scholarship, which you call it, uh, 
in America, mad ammo. It was really good wage. It was only for nine months, but I wouldn't uproot the family. Uh, we've got a really good life here. My kids enjoyed our life here. A really nice part of the world we live in, but... Yeah, I did get offered a, a scholarship in America. For coaching. They're desperate for coaches. I'm just looking to bump this five iron up onto green, guys. Ah, oh, there's a fast. It's going to go hard left. It's going to go hard left. It's probably going to be short as well. Yeah. If it was online, I do feel we'd had a chance of making it. Probably going to be a little chip shot. Just hoping to get this close. It's breaking slightly to the left. That should trickle on quite nice up to the cup. Ah, it's about eight, nine feet away. It's really short, actually. So seven foot putt to save part. It was a good putt. I won't start about Holland's. Oh, man, what has happened to Holland? I mean... I remember growing up watching Holland and you had Marco van Basten, Rude Hulet, um over Mars. I just do not know what's happened with Holland, mate. But to tell you what, Holland's got, they're, they're like pro-level pro clubs. They've got fantastic youth systems that really produce young, talented players, especially the AAC system. So hole nine is a par three, 159 yards. I mean, look at France getting beat by uh, Drom with Luxembourg there. On a Saturday night as well. That was insane. No one expected that. I mean, France have got a really good squad now. So I need to deduct six yards off of this guy. So it's playing 158. Just going to loft up a bit. Four mile prior wind to the right. Hopefully I don't put a fast on this this time. There's a perfect, perfect, and that should be all over this pin. That should be all over this pin. Oh, I thought it was going to be an ace. But yeah, Marcus Rashford really excites me. Um, all right, solid approach shot. You can two putt from here. All right, 13 footer. That was the only real plus side to the Van Gaal LVG era at Man United. So 13 feet, 3 inches up, breaking to the right. Should start turning for me. Oh, just didn't hit it. Ouch. Just it's going to be a top in par, so close. Maybe a par here, though. Maybe a par here, though, huh? Okay, so that'll keep you at five under for the round. Yeah, I mean, I really don't know what's going on with Holland, mate. That's that's a that's a, whether it's their tactics or I couldn't even tell you who the manager of Holland is at the moment. To be fair. Um, I kind of lost, I just, I just lost interest in international football. So hole 12 is a par 4, 332 yards. Um, Gordon Strachan starting to turn the tide, but for about 6-7 months there, bar the Scotland-England game, I just, I just lost a lot of interest in international football, just with some of it, especially with Scotland with the team selections. Really short par for this. There's a perfect, perfect. A lot happier with my swing tempo after the first three or four holes. That was a really nice bounce, and that I should have took some heat off of that. This is probably going to be a flop shot. But you know what? I'm actually going to play the chip shot here. I despise the flop shot guys, I really do. Just looking at that to bump and run up. Ah, it's really short. Probably going to come back down the slope. It is. 
So that was a poor shot. I'm probably going to be exactly back, if not further, than where I was. I'm going right at the pin this time here, guys. Oh, so that is going to ensure my par, though. A really poor chip shot there. I'm just getting used to all the different yardages with it, the player clubs with the chip shots. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely avoiding the flop shots now, guys. I just feel they're so inconsistent. So all par so far in the back nine. On this sleeping giant. So hole 13 is a par 5. 575 yards. Really nice looking course this, guys. I'm really enjoying playing it. Please go out there and play it. As always, feel free to add my ghost ball to it. Let me know how you go on. So it's a really dog leg left, but due to it being open, there's there's no hazards where I can't reach this. Zero mile per hour wind now, jeez. There's no way I'm reaching this in two, I feel, but... Perfect, perfect. Looking good so far. That could be near about 290 yards with a good bounce this one. <clears throat> Bang on the 290 yards. So 273 for it's up. So let's add four yards. No way I can reach that guys, so just looking to leave me a pitch shot this time. Try to go and get pin high here. Going to loft to hybrid it up. There's a fast. Should be okay though. And that should just kick on for a few yards and then hold up. I was interviewed by a chap from BBC on the way out of stadium, told him I thought Rashford was a men has a mental ability as well as football ability. Someone like Sterling runs down, but I tell you what, mate, see Sterling, I do not rate that guy. He's just a headless chicken. I don't see what all the fuss is about him, uh, damn P. Um, I really don't. I I mean, the amount of money that guy is, is went for from Liverpool to Man City, and for me, he's, he's not done the business. Um, very, very overrated player. I do feel a lot of the the England players are really overrated. I mean, Slovakia, for long spells last night, kept the ball a lot better than England, looked more comfortable on the ball than most of the English players. So, I mean, it's, it's one of them. Just going to reset that. That'd be, but let's say 86, 78, okay. Perfect, perfect, space bar straight. Hope this one bites. I should bite. Bit of backspin. Nice, you're on the padding surface, I think you could, uh... But, um, yeah, I just, I don't, I've never rated Sterling. Even coming through Liverpool as a youngster, I mean, he had... A handful of good games that I've seen. How that justifies the big money move to, to City and that. And I mean, I thought Pep Guardiola would have found him out by now. But, I mean, he's not a regular starter at City from what I've seen lately. But he's certainly getting chances off the bench. But I just think he's one of the most overrated players I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I over I totally over exaggerated the break in that and it should be a tap in par though. Little five footer here, nothing too scary. So nice solid pars on the back nine, not getting any birdies okay, whatsoever. So keep you at five under for the round. But I tell you what, Scotland have got two very good exciting yeah, young 
full backs or wing backs coming through. Kieran Tierney of Celtic and Andrew Robertson who's just signed for Liverpool. That two have got fantastic careers ahead of them. Um, outstanding players. So hole 14 is a par 4 playing 414 yards up to an island green. Why severe breaks on this green. YouTube mail notifications are not good at the moment. I have only just been told this was on, but it looks like it has been on for 45 minutes at least. Ah, that might explain why yesterday I didn't have a lot of viewers, mate. But welcome to the stream, David. As always, great to see you in here, pal. But don't worry, guys. I am going to do another live stream after this one. I will be stopping this live stream and then going on to another one. There's a perfect, perfect. A lot happier with my swing tempo this last 10 holes. But as always, guys, it's great to be streaming live and having a, a good conversation with you guys. That's what it's all about. And as always, if the guys in the live chat could spam that like button for me, please, lads. It really, really helps me out. It's nine. So that is playing 141 yards. Just going to loft this 8 iron up. It is going to want to go left with the slope and the wind. That's another good strike. This could be all over it, by the way. Oh, it's way short. Don't find that slope, though. Oh, is it going to stay up? No, I found the slope. I found the slope. I like Premier League, it's on here, but usually when people are at work, and as Americans we are not shown soccer or football. I, don't get me wrong mate, I like the Premier League, but I, I don't buy into this, it's the best league in the world, it's not, it's probably the most entertaining league in the world. But um, the Champions League football and the Europa League confirms it's not the best league in the world, it's probably the most watched league in the world. Um, I think it's one of the most overrated leagues in the world, to be fair. Don't get me wrong, it blows the Scottish Premier League out of the water. Um, I just don't feel it's the best league in the world. It's very entertaining, good to watch. 30 feet up one foot. This is quite a tough putt from here, guys, to be fair, with these green speeds. It's got a chance of going in, you know. Oh! Judge that well, though. Almost dropped for the birdie. So I've not got one single birdie on the back nine so far, guys. Hopefully that changes sooner rather than later. So I stay at 500 for the round, guys. Only the one drop shot. Let's move on to hole 15, which is a par 4. Okay, Playing 446 right. yards. And with that sunset, that looks really, really nice. As always, very large fairways, but really well placed hazards. Really, really well placed. There's been a lot of thought put into this course, guys. Looks like the green's going to be up higher than the fairway. Slightly elevated. Yeah, I mean, do you know what? I do feel that the MLS, Major League Soccer, is improving um, with the players they attract, and obviously due to the money, but... The standard of football or soccer over there is slowly improving, mate. And I actually do enjoy watching it from time to time. Best thing to do, mate, is keep an eye on Twitch. As I always comment when about to do a stream week. With the start time. No problem, David. Thanks, mate. Thanks for the information, buddy, and the tips. Hopefully get to one of your streams very shortly. That is a fast, I, I, I don't think that should have been a fast there guys. I feel that like I've nailed my swing at the moment, that could be trickle into the light rough. Or is it heavy rough? It's in the rough anyway. Yeah, it's a light rough. So that's playing 156 yards. Just going to take a bit off of the 7 iron, probably going to be long. It's 
It's another fast, so that is going to go hard left. Hopefully it gets up. Give me a nice bounce. Quite a favourable bounce there. It looks like it's going to run off down the slope, though. Dan P, I find Scottish football entertaining. Just think it's a shame that they might as well hand a trophy to sell it for each season. Totally right, mate. I mean, Scottish football is quite good. I think we're giving a lot of young boys a chance now. Hence, the international teams improve them with more local homegrown talent. But the lack of money in Scottish football, I mean, we don't have Sky throwing money at us like the English Premier League clubs. But you're completely right. I mean... For years it used to be a two horse race, Rangers or Celtic, but these guys would go and spend 30, 40, 50 million on players, which the rest of Scotland can't compete with. For a brief spell in the 80s, Aberdeen were the main team, but which is my club, but that wasn't with money, that was with producing players and um, players really playing for the, for the love of the game and for the love of the club, but that kind of, football's all about money now. Unfortunately. That just did not turn at all again, guys. So once again, the game mechanics is telling me it's breaking slightly right. Did not break at all. So it's not going to be a birdie. It's just another part. Wait until November on the Xbox. Before... Doing console based streams but may start. Okay, mate, cool David. I look forward to catching one of your streams, mate. So hole sixteen is a par four playing four hundred and ninety seven yards. But I will be interesting to see how uh, Celtic get on in the Champions League. They've got a really tough group, but under Bridge and Brendan Rogers, I think he's been a not only a breath of fresh air for, for for Celtic, but a breath of fresh air for Scottish football, mate. I think he's a fantastic coach. Quite a straightforward hole, this one. Nothing here to concern me. It is a narrower fairway. I'm just going to put here right in case I do get a fast. I do get a fast. But I have a light for it. Cool, David. Like I say, I used to stream on Twitch, but I just much prefer live streaming on YouTube now. It means I don't have to upload anything to YouTube once the stream's done. So that is playing 206 yards. Wind's in my favour. Just going to lob, loft this hybrid up. another fast guy so I, I just cannot get to grips with this my tempo swing at the moment I need a nice bounce here it's going to leave me a chip shot though well, so my approach shots on the back nine have been abysmal due to the fasts just looking to get this running up towards the The pin. It was a good effort. Once again, it should ensure my part. Brendan and well at Liverpool, closest they ever got to winning the Premier League in recent years. It took an English player, Gerard. <laughs> it did, man. Gerard, that slip. That slip cost him. But Rogers done fantastic for, for Liverpool, mate. Really good coach. I hold him in high regard. I think the result that marked England up that year, England Liverpool up that year. If you recall, they were three 0 up against Crystal Palace, um, and they ended up drawing three all. I think that was the, the the game, the result that really changed it. I think if they won that, they would have won the Premier League. So hole seventeen is a par three, two hundred and two yards. Quite a tough green here, quite a tough pin placement. I certainly don't want to be fast on this one. Let's say it's playing 198 yards. The wind's in my favour. I'm just looking to get this 5 iron. Bouncing on the, the rough. Onto the green. Oh, 
And I do have perfect, perfect. It's been long overdue. I need a nice bounce. Ah, I tried it, guys. I did try it. Just going to leave me an air chip shot. Why? So Xbox doesn't support YouTube streaming? I'm amazed at that, mate. That's, that's something they should fix, really. Okay. Just going right at the pin here, guys. I'm not going to play a full swing because I do feel it'll be too much, but we'll go for a three quarter. Oh, just over hit that. It's going to be about an eight foot putt for par. Let's see what you can do with this seven footer. A little seven footer. Which right drops in the center off the cup. Okay, so that'll keep you at five under for the round. So I state five under. Let's see if I can birdie the last and get a bit of entertaining golf here in the back nine. So it is a par 5, playing 540 yards. Hopefully I can reach this in 2, dependent on the wind. Really nice looking final hole. Hope you've enjoyed this course review here, guys. Like, as always, please the guys in the live stream if you could spam the like button for me. I will be ending the stream, guys. Going to make myself a cup of coffee and then coming back on. So once the stream ends, give me about 5 minutes. And I will come back on. Just going to loft this up a bit. Certainly don't want to be running into this bunker here. I don't feel I will. So I'm allowing for the fast as well. Obviously I don't want to get a fast. Yeah, perfect, perfect there. This is a beauty. And that's just going to be short of this uh, bunker here. Hopefully, I can maybe reach this or attack this in two. I'm certainly going to... Oh, I don't know about that. It's up. Do you know what? I'm going to take it on, guys. I'm going to take it on. I need something to happen in the back nine. I might hit the bunker here, but we'll, we'll go for it. Perfect, perfect. Give me a nice bounce. Yeah, so I am going to be in the bunker, but hopefully I can get this close. Maybe a pure shot selection there on hindsight, guys, but I was just trying to make something happen there. Oh, dear. And I don't think I've really got any other choice but to go for the, the flop shot here, guys, to be fair. I despise this shot with passion. I've actually played a perfect, perfect, get up, oh no, it's going to come all the way back down, so I'm certainly not going to birdie this hole here guys, unless I play a wonder putt here, it's probably going to be about a 30 foot putt, uphill, 36 foot putt, minimal to the right, minimal to the left, 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 so it is favouring breaking to the, the left from the right, Go on, turn, turn, turn. Oh my god, I thought I was going to drop that birdie. So it is just going to be a par. So guys, really nice course that. The Sleeping Giant. Um, finish 5 under, respectable score. I've certainly given that 5 and I am going to favourite it. That is it for this stream here guys. But like I say, pardon me, I'm going to jump on in 5 minutes and do an hour live stream. Hopefully I can see you guys there again. For the guys watching this back on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. As always, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And as, and as always, pardon me for that star. Um, if you've got courses you'd like to see reviewed, please say so in the comment section. I'll definitely check them out. 
that is it for this stream guys, I will see you all in the next one, take care and bye.